So I have a story here that I'm going to read to you, and it is about a class that plants a garden, okay? So I want you to look at the front of this story and see what they're doing here. So they've got, does anybody know what that's called? That's a watering can. This little girl is holding a, you said trowel, you would be right. It's like a type of shovel, just like our <clears throat> word that we just practiced. And it looks like they're outside of their school. And what might this be down here, this brown stuff? You think that's soil maybe? And then they have some little cards that are sticking up in the ground. I wonder what they are. Hmm. Let's find out. All right, so our title is The Garden Project. So that's how I knew it was about a garden, by reading the title, The Garden Project. And by looking at the pictures, we can see that they are watering things and they're in some soil. So let's find out what The Garden Project is about. And it's written by Margaret McNamara. So sorry, friends. So she wrote the story. She's the author. And the illustrator is Mike Gordon, and he draws the pictures. Okay, let's find out what the Garden Project is all about and what those little cards are. So pay attention when, we're, um, when I'm reading to see what these cards might be about that are stuck in the ground. The sandbox at Robin Hill School was old. We can make it into a garden, said Mrs. Connor. And who must Mrs. Connor be? They're what? If you said their teacher, you would be right. How do we know that that's their teacher? Hmm. It seems they're at school and she is the adult. So usually that would be the teacher. <gasps> Parents came and filled the sandbox with dark brown dirt. So they're filling up the sandbox with dirt, or what we like to call soil. And what is this that they're using right here? Can you see that? It's, a, it's our vocabulary word. It's a wheelbarrow. It's our word of the week. Mrs. Connor divided the garden into four squares. Four students for every square. So they each get their own section to plant in. Nick, Katie, Emma, and Eugene planted radish seeds. Wow, so they planted seeds and they're gonna make radishes, which is a type of vegetable. Nick made holes in the dirt with his fingers. See his little dirty finger? So he poked holes in the dirt or in the soil so he could put, what do you think he was gonna put in there? Hmm. See, Emma dropped one seed in each hole. So he made that hole with his finger so they could drop seeds in there. Eugene covered them up. Becky, Hannah, Jamie, and Michael planted sunflower seeds. So one group is planting a vegetable, one group is planting a flower, type of flower. Just three or four, said Mrs. Connor. Sunflowers are big and they need a lot of sun, said Jamie. Andrew, Ayana, Griffin, and Riza planted pea pods. So they're planting peas, which is another type of vegetable. And it looks like they're putting some sticks up. Why do you think they would need to put sticks up in a garden? Hmm. Maybe to hold something up? Let's find out. And Neil, Nina, James, and Megan planted lettuce. And lettuce is a type of vegetable. So what are they, what do they have here? What's this long green thing? We've got water coming out of it. It must be a hose. There's another word of the week. Yuck, said Neil. I do not like vegetables. We shall see, said Mrs. Connor. So he doesn't want to plant vegetables. And look, he's got a little card in his hand. And what's on that card? It looks like a carrot to me. Hmm. Every day, the preschoolers tended their garden. They watered, they waited. After one week, tiny green sprouts 
came up. So they had to make sure they watered their garden. It had sun on it, so that's why it's outside. And that they, they planted it in the soil and it's got plenty of air outside. So they provided their plants with everything they needed to grow. And then they had to wait because it does take time for plants to grow. Finally, the tiny sprouts came up. And let's see, there's those cards sticking in the ground again there and there. Wow. The class picked weeds. They kept birds away. They watered some more. They waited some more. So they're growing a little bit taller each day. How can we tell if they're growing taller or not? What can we use to, de to decide that if they're growing taller? You could measure them. And you don't have to use a ruler or measuring tape if you're not sure how to use that yet. Um, but you could if an adult can do that with you. But you could also measure like we do in class to see how many cubes tall something is. Or you could take your Legos and to see how many Legos tall it was. So if you were going to plant a seed, you could see how tall it's getting by measuring it with different objects. And this is a scarecrow to scare the birds away. It's just a little, um, some straw. After three weeks, little lettuces were growing. So the little lettuce started to grow. Wow. They're so cute, said Nia. After four weeks, the sunflowers were starting to grow taller. Taller than me, said Hannah. At last, the, the preschool garden was ready to harvest. Does anybody know what the word harvest means? Hmm. If you said to pick, you would be right. So at the end of a season, or when something's all grown, we harvest it or pick it. So with their vegetables, they can go ahead and pick them now that they're fully grown. And you can see the different plants around the garden. Mrs. Connor made lettuce and radish salad with pea pods on top. Yummy, said Neil. So they use their vegetables to make a salad. They're gonna eat it. Yes, said Becky. She bit into a pea pod. It tastes just like sunshine. Wow. So who knew you could plant your own vegetables with just a tiny little what? Seed. So I want to go back and show you some of those cards we were talking about. And we can see that they've got different um, vegetables on them, different plants. So these two have carrots and these two have lettuce, these three. So we know that with whatever's written on the card, that's what type of plant is growing there, okay? So it's telling them that these two plants right here and here are carrot plants, and up here they are, oh, I didn't mean carrots, radish plants. And the ones up here are lettuce. So that's pretty cool that you can mark your plants to know what's growing. So. If you think back to the very beginning, what did they plant first? So what did they have to do first to get their um, garden to grow? They had to plant seeds. And does anybody know where seeds come from? Hmm, where do seeds come from? Well, one place they can come from is a seed packet like this that you can buy at the store. And this one is for flowers, they're called zinnias and it's just one type of flower. So I got a little seed packet, and if you open it up, you can dump the seeds out, and each plant has different types of seeds. So you can also go, let's see if I can hold this up for you guys. So there's my little seed right there. You can also, and I have my whole little handful, you can also go to the store and find ones for different, um, different types of flowers and plants and fruits and vegetables. So that's one place that you could find seeds is at the store in these little seed packets. Um, 
So I'm going to play, I want you to watch the next video and it is called How Does a Seed Become a Plant? So um, it's a really fun little video about how seeds become plants and then come back to me because we're going to do a quick little activity and I want to show you something else about seeds that I think you'll enjoy.